Following his arrest on two counts of child pornography, Josh Duggar is free on bond. But is the disgraced former reality star truly free? As previously noted, Duggar has been banned from residing at home with his pregnant wife and six young kids because he's been accused of downloading sexually explicit material of minors under the age of 12. It's disgusting and it's simply insane to think about, but it's true. A judge in Arkansas has rightfully decided that Duggar cannot be trusted around his own children because the allegations against him are just so heinous. So, now that he's been let out of federal custody ahead of his July 6th trial, many observers are wondering, where exactly is Josh Duggar at the moment? Jim Bob and Michelle's troubled eldest son is currently wearing an ankle monitor and is under home confinement, living with third-party custodians Lacount and Maria Reber. The couple volunteered in court to take Josh in, despite admittedly not knowing him very well. She and her husband felt that they should help Mr. Duggar's parents and Mr. Duggar, federal probation officer Diem Gwen said on May in front of a judge. I believe that, based on Mr. Reber's job occupation, the fact that he's a pastor and volunteers at Gentle Ministers, I believe that they could be suitable third-party custodians. However, the minors that come to the home causes the probation officer some concern, as well as the pistols that won't be locked away in a safe and or removed from the home also causes the probation officer concern. Ah, uh, yeah, as they should. Josh is apparently around little kids and guns right now. According to Arkansas property records obtained by The Sun, meanwhile, residing with the Reavers is quite an upgrade for Duggar. Because Josh has no income and can't support his large immediate family, they had been living for at least a year in a warehouse on his parents' property. But now, LeCount and Maria have a home that sits on nice acres. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a fireplace and porch. It's also allegedly surrounded by a bunch of neighbors who are irate that an accused child pornography addict is living so nearby. For her part, Maria told the judge last week she wasn't fully aware of Josh's past, which includes a confession that he molested young girls when he was 14 and 15 years old. We want to be able to help, with God's help, Maria said, adding. I am looking at it as we are here of help for the family, to Josh and Anna, and we want to administer to them as best as we can. Maria also made it evident that she's just going along with her husband's wishes here. As you'd expect from anyone close to the Duggars, her opinion as a woman holds no value. My husband has made the decision and I'm here to support that decision, she told the judge. My husband has a passion and love for ministry, and as a family, we have always ministered to others. Maybe not in this capacity, but as we go through life, you just never know what God puts in front of you in such a time as this. Based on the conditions of Josh's release, he is restricted to the residence of LeCount and Maria Reber at all times, except for the following. Employment, education, religious services, medical or mental health treatment, attorney visits, court-ordered obligations, and court hearings. Other terms include maintaining employment, no possession of firearms, no excessive alcohol use, no possession of pornography, and more. Over the weekend, finally following the lead of many of her relatives, Joy Anna Duggar spoke in her brother's arrest. The recent accusations brought against Josh sadden us to our core, she and her husband Austin said. We have not wanted to be hasty in making any statements while trying to process the news ourselves. We are especially heartbroken by the reality that there are children in the world being harmed and exploited. In conclusion, we ask for prayer for all those involved, and it is our continued prayer that the truth comes to light. Clearly, the entire Duggar family is in crisis at the moment, and unlike other scandals that the County Known clan has faced, it seems unlikely that they'll survive this one with their media empire intact. We'll have further updates on this developing story as more information becomes available. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.